All right, folks. Tommy Coward here on the lawn with you with Growing Green. I'm here at Caldwell Academy, and it's about middle of October. It's the 17th. Just want to show you some of the fields we recently overseeded. I'm up here on the bleachers. This is their game field. And it was just recently overseeded with a three-way Virginia Tech blend of perennial ryegrass about, oh, less than a week ago. Um, we got held up a little bit on seeding this one because we ran out of the Virginia Tech blend from last year. We still had some on hand, and then we had to try to find something that would match. And these perennial ryegrass, one of the cultivars is actually from the mix last year. And, of course, there is some of the Virginia Tech blend from last year. I want to show you this. This field was done completely with the Tech blend. This uh, and going out at a, roughly about 275 pounds of seed per thou, uh, per acre, and uh, great color. That field really came in well. Now that field was actually deep tined and top dressed last summer, and I'm really really pleased with the results we're getting on that particular field. This one we held off about a week, so it's a week behind. We're starting to see some germination. I was just down on the field. Um, prior to that, we did a, um, a heavy potassium fertilizer on it. Actually, it was a balanced fertilizer. Uh, some of the nitrogen in it will take care of this ryegrass and get it up, and the potassium will help, you know, build some roots and kind of make the, the Bermuda grass go to sleep, so to speak, kind of go to dormant quicker. Plus, it'll help with uh, building some carbohydrate reserves over the year. Now, I don't think you can see it. We did the um, practice field with a completely different animal. We tried the Carly, which is heavily touted here. It's a pure seed testing um, variety. It's a early maturer where these guys are more late maturing. But as you can see, I mean, that tech blend, that really came in quick. It looks like it's going to, it's like a Chia Pet down there if you were really to take a look at it. It's very, very lush, very new. The Carly, um, it's coming in. I thought we might see something a little bit earlier. If you could see down beyond the game field, um, the green, that's the fresh Carly. That's a single variety. And uh, this is basically what we did. We applied the seed and then dragged it in. I don't know if you can see down by the dugout, there's a drag mat. It's a chain link type of uh, mat that will drag the seed in. You can see actually see some seed coming up in it if you look closely, if you focus in. But uh, hey, this is Caldwell Academy. We have a pleasure working for these folks. They have a great facility here. And uh, we just yesterday applied a, uh, we had some spring dead spot out here this year. We just did an application of a fungicide for the uh, spring dead spot. We actually plan to do a follow-up application of that, and that's Tebuconazole uh, Torque um, from Cleary's Chemical. So we put that out. We'll be following up. We had to wait for the temperatures of the of the soil to get down below 65 degrees, according to the label, and apply that. So just wanted to go over this with you a little bit of uh, seeding on ball fields in the fall. This is what we're striving for over here, as you can see, and. Uh, I think we're going to have some great success. Of course, this is just now starting to germinate really good. It's starting to come in. And uh, the Carly down there is a little slower, but we'll see as it progresses if it catches up and maybe even surpasses it. But anyway, Tommy Cowd here on the lawn with you from Growing Green. Hope you all are having a great day. If you have any questions, please post them down below or subscribe to our blog. And uh, we'll be giving you more information as we get. Y'all have a great one. Bye-bye.